welcome to our music and mother goose so let's get started with our hello song where we'll clap and sing hello we'll clap and sing hello we'll clap and sing hello with our friends at story time and clap and sing hello and then of course we'll give a big clap all right let's sing we clap and sing hello we clap and sing hello with our friends at story time we clap and sing hello Next, today we have a very special story all about running. So next, let's run and sing hello. So we'll stand up and let's go. Can you run all around? We run and sing hello. We run and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we run and sing hello. And then run as fast as you can. <sighs> and maybe you were just running sitting down. Either is okay. So let's get started. So we have another really fun mother goose rhyme called Humpty Dumpty. And with this rhyme, we always think of Humpty Dumpty as an egg that's sitting high up on a wall and has a great fall. And then no one can put him together again. But in the original words, we don't know that Humpty Dumpty is an egg. It's not until 50 years later that Lewis Carroll released the book Through the Looking Glass, which was a long time ago for us, but it was 50 years after the song first appeared that he showed Humpty Dumpty as an egg. So today we're going to sing like Humpty Dumpty is an egg, and I have my friend Olivia here to help me. So if you would like to do this as a pair song, this is a really fun one that you can do some simple motions with your little one. So Olivia is going to be my little one today, and you can have your little one face the front, or your little one can face you. So today, Olivia, do you want to face me? Okay. So our rhyme goes, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. So we like to think of walls as high. So we'll lift our little one up in the air. Then Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So now we'll go ah, and fall down. Then all the king's horses and all the king's men, and for this one you can just rock a little, couldn't put Humpty together again. And so we'll try to put Humpty together again with a hug. And for our little ones, of course, we'll always put them back together. But for Humpty, he wasn't so lucky. So let's say it again. A Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Then all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, no. Let's do it one more time. Oh, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And the more expressive you are saying the rhyme, the more fun it is for your little one and the more they can start to hear those inflection sounds, which are a really important part of the English language. Pretty cool. Our next song, we are going to our classic Mother Goose Nursery Rhymes book for some extra information. For Pop Goes the Weasel, it was originally a 17th century British children's song, and it was printed in a broadside in 1855 with many new verses. In the United States, it became popular as a square dance tune. And did you know that the weasel in the song is actually a nickname for a shoemaker's tool? To pop the weasel really meant to pawn the tool or sell the tool for money. So I didn't know that. And the song originally goes all around the cobbler's bench. But today we're going to sing the version that I really like with all around the mulberry bush. And for this one, for our pop, we'll get a scarf, or you can also use a towel, a t-shirt, a blanket, even a tissue works really well. But when we hear pop goes the weasel, I want you to pop your scarf or your towel or your tissue up in the air as high as you can and see if you can catch it when it comes down. So our song goes, and we'll sing it twice, it goes, 
All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all in good fun. <gasps> Pop goes the weasel. Then our verse goes, a penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. <gasps> Pop goes the weasel. So you have two pops in the song. So make sure that when you pop your scarf up that you catch it when it comes down. So the higher you throw it, the harder it is and the more fun. Let's sing it again. Get your scarf ready. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it all in good fun. Pop goes the weasel. A penny for a spool of thread, a penny for a needle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. Did you catch it both times? So you can sing this over and over again. You can sing it with just the chorus or the verse too. It's up to you, but enjoy that popping fun. So today our story is a really fun classic. It is The Gingerbread Man. And we are going to Hoopla Digital for our ebook copy today. The Gingerbread Man. The Gingerbread Man, written by Eric Subin, illustrated by Joe Boddy. And you can see our main character today is a gingerbread cookie. So an old woman and her husband lived together on their farm. One day, the old woman said, I will make a gingerbread man for my husband's supper. She mixed the gingerbread in a bowl, then she rolled it out and shaped it like a little man. She gave him raisin eyes, a cherry mouth, and nuts for buttons. At last, the gingerbread man was ready for the oven. Then after a time, the old woman looked into the oven to see if her baking was done. But what did she see? She had no sooner opened the oven than the gingerbread man hopped up, leapt to the ground, and ran straight for the open door. Stop, stop, cried the old woman. The gingerbread man sped into the vegetable patch, the old woman close behind him. The husband was tending vegetables. Stop, stop, he cried when he saw the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man called, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. So let's say that one more time. And will you help me? Say, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He is a very fast gingerbread man. The gingerbread man started down the road, the old woman and her husband close behind him. Soon, the gingerbread man passed an old hound dozing in the sun. Stop! Stop! The hound barked. But the gingerbread man only laughed. What did he say? Can you remember? We have run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Soon, the gingerbread man passed a cow munching on crunchy clover. Stop! Stop! The cow mooed. What does the gingerbread man say? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man came to a town. The old woman, her husband, the hound, and the cow were close behind him. It was market day and the streets were crowded with people. Look at the gingerbread man, cried a child. Stop, stop, cried the townspeople. And what does he say? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. 
Now the old woman, her husband, the hound, the cow, and all the townspeople were close behind the gingerbread man. Wow, they all look really hungry. At last, the gingerbread man came to a stream. On the bank sat a fox. An old woman, her husband, a hound, a cow, and all the townspeople are close behind me, said the gingerbread man, panting. Too bad, said the fox. I must get across the stream, said the gingerbread man. I can help you, said the fox. Hop on to my back. Now, do you think this is a good idea? The gingerbread man hopped up and the fox jumped into the water. After swimming a short way, the fox said, the water is getting deeper. Hop onto my neck. Okay. The gingerbread man did as the fox suggested. After swimming a little farther, the fox said, the water is up to my neck. Hop onto the top of my head. Mm. So he has to stay out of the water or else he'll melt. But that fox has a tricky look in his eyes. But the gingerbread man did as the fox suggested. Just then, the fox gave his head a toss and opened his mouth wide. The gingerbread man flipped into the air and landed smack between the fox's jaws. Crunch, munch. The gingerbread man was gone. <gasps> The fox trotted home, waving his bushy tail. Of the old woman, her husband, the hound, the cow, and all the townspeople, only the fox was clever enough to get that silly gingerbread man for his supper. The end. So at the end of the story, the poor gingerbread man became a snack. So do you think that there was a different way that he could have gotten across the stream? Or was the fox always going to eat him? Now, our secret code word for watching today's video for our summer reading program is gingerbread. So don't forget to enter that in your summer reading account. So we have gingerbread for 30 extra bonus points. So that was a really fun story about a quick running gingerbread man who runs down the road away from everyone. And so our next chant is a really fun pair chant. So Olivia is back to help me where we're going to sing or say about a smooth road, a bumpy road, and a rough road, and then a hole. Right, but that's a fun surprise at the end. So this is another fun one to do with your little one together. And again, they can face forward, they can face you. So it goes like this. We'll say, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. Are you ready for a rough road? A rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. Road, a rough road, a hole. And you can dip your child down between your legs or you can go up in the air for the hole. It's up to you. Let's sing it again and we'll try our motions one more time. And you can get as expressive as you want with our different descriptions. We have a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a rough 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 road, a hole. So that's a lot of fun and very, very simple but also some great practice for thinking about different textures.
So our next song today is another classic Mother Goose song called Do You Know the Muffin Man? And for this one, we're going to use our rhythm sticks to tap along. So if you don't have rhythm sticks at home, you can use two wooden spoon handles. You can use two sticks that you find on a walk outside, right? anything that you can tap together. And if you don't have two things to tap together that you find, you also have two things you can tap together on the ends of your arms. So you can use your hands too. So we'll practice some simple rhythm today with one, two, three, four. So for Do You Know the Muffin Man, there's actually two, there are actually two parts to this song where we ask, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? And then with after the question, we have the answer. Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Today, we are going to practice with our rhythm sticks just singing the first question. And to practice our rhythm, we're going to do some speeding up and some slowing down. But first, let's sing it with our normal rhythm. Can you tap along with me? Let's sing. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? All right, very good job. So that was pretty easy. We just keep our tapping the same speed. But now let's speed up. All right, will you join me? It's a lot faster. Let's sing. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? <gasps> Very good. Now let's speed up a little more. Can you sing this fast? Let's go. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh, can we do it even faster? Let's try. So as fast as you can go, let's do it together and sing. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh, all right, very good job. Now we did it really fast, but can you try it really slowly as well? Let's try. So our normal speed was like this. Can you do it even slower? Let's sing. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? All right, can we do it even slower? Go as slowly as you can this time. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives in Drury Lane? Oh, good job! everyone <laughs> so that's a lot of fun too going as slowly as you can and now friends it is time for us to sing our goodbye song so let's remember our american sign language as we say goodbye with a wave and then friends so for friends we need our two friend fingers we'll link them together for friends Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. So we'll do that three times. Then it's time, point to your pretend watch. It's time to say, point to your mouth, goodbye. All right, let's sing. 
Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. So I hope that you enjoyed our music and Mother Goose today, and we hope that we will see you again next week. Bye, friends. Bye.